Hi guys, Jeff here from TAP. Just want to share a bit of a quirky problem that some people are getting caught with when wiring in trailer plugs. A couple of cars have been presented to us and other, some of our other workshops in regards to trailer plug wiring on some of the late model, especially the, uh, the, the, the SUV type of vans. And what's happening is that people are wiring in the trailer plugs uh, whilst the tailgate is open. So we've got the tail lights on here at the moment. You can see the tail lights are on on this particular vehicle. But once we open the tailgate on this particular vehicle, you'll find that one goes out and the one down the bottom here will come on. So you've got to be careful if you're wiring up the trailer plug with the tailgate open, you're probably going to tap into that power supply. But once the tailgate's closed, that won't have your tail light power anymore. So very important with the later model cars, you do your research. There are quite a few modules you need to buy to plug in on. Uh, a lot of these cars, that particularly in this particular case with the tail light and things, it's a dual voltage. So low voltage will be tail lights, high voltage will be uh, stop lights. Uh, so again, very, very quirky and, and highly technical uh, rear lighting systems on some of these late model cars, especially the Europeans. So be very, very careful if you are getting involved with putting trailer plugs in. It's a very specialised job now on the later model cars. But if you've got a car in with some quirky problems in regards to lighting and it's got a trailer plug fitted to it, just be careful that it's not the trailer plug that's causing those particular issues. So, very important. We've got one of the case studies on our website in, in repair solutions regarding this type of problem, exactly on this uh, particular uh, Q5, 2013 model, so you know, nearly a 10 year old car already. Uh, these sort of systems are out there and are making their way into our workshops. So, just be careful with all these late model cars and the wiring systems and lighting systems that you understand the lighting system you're working on uh, before you go you know, diving in too deep. If you are a member of TAP, make sure you're checking those repair solutions when you're getting involved. Uh, if you're not a member, maybe think about joining up and joining up with the many other thousands of technicians sharing information, knowledge and experience. See you next time.